Hello, welcome to Kent Beer Reviews again. Right, I've got another beer from the Beaver Town Brewery, and it's a Uzilla Phantom Uzo and Dried Dried Lime Infused Berliner Weiss beer. It's coming in at 3.7% ABV. Um, it's a new release. They've released it like a couple of weeks ago, if that. Um, and that's it really, it's in a 330ml can, it's got some brilliant artwork that's becoming very normal, brilliantly normal for the Beaver Town brewery in their can range. I don't know if this is a limited release or whether it's going to be, um, I'd imagine it'd probably be limited but who knows, um, if you've had it before and if you don't need more information, put it in the comments box. It'll be quite interesting to find out, really. Anyway, right, um, can't see any date on it or anything like that, so I oh, know it's fresh. I got this from the sourced market in King's Cross, which is a fantastic little shop for train beers, really. Cans like this and other cans. Right, let's get this beer out and see what we get with this. Oh. Quite carbonated, nice hiss. It's a one finger white head, quite cloudy. Lots of there's a few things floating around in it. I don't know if you're picking that up, certainly on this side of the glass. Anyway, let's get an aroma. That head's gone, it's completely gone. Wow, you're really picking up that sharp lime aroma, citrus. Maybe a little bit of, maybe a little bit of spice somewhere, some white pepper or something like that. It smells quite pleasant. Anyway, let's give it a try. Cheers. Very sharp. First thing you're getting is a real kind of sharp kick. Lime. It's quite tart. It's almost like it's got the um, you know the rind. You've just got a grater and you've got the lime skin and you've grated a load of that in with this as well, um, along with lemon. really is infused you can you're really picking that up but it's very crisp very refreshing mm. it's a perfect summertime drink really today it's it's raining out there at the moment but it's been fairly warm in in London, certainly early part of the week. It's cooled down a bit now, but it's still quite muggy being in the city. Mm. Really good. Um, any more information there? Mm -hmm. Nope, not really. Canned at Beaver Town Brewery. Store upright. But the, this can's the artwork is again some of it is raised. It's got this like stick on 
kind of excuse me kind of label that's on the can but look at that how mental is that it's really good um, I'm quite looking forward to I think it's next weekend the 21st down my local bottle shop stroke um, craft beer pub they're um, having a take, tap takeover by Beaver Town and I think they're doing one or two other things I think they might even be doing some weird beards and late nights which is obviously late nights pub in the Ravensgate arm so I'm kind of looking forward to that Let's generate a bit more head here Oh, look at that. Got a bit cloudy now. Some clouds slowly floating around in that glass. You can see it there, the light. Oh. Quite sour. But it's it's very nice. I'm trying to still get used to these this style of beer. But it's, it's you know right at the front end is very sour. Very sweet, sweet sour really. Very refreshing. It's leaving kind of. The sourness goes away and it's just leaving the kind of lime juice really on the palate after you've swallowed the beer. But no, it's a, it's a nice beer actually for a style that I'm not quite, you know, it wouldn't be my first choice, put it that way. Um, it's actually really nice. Right, I'm, I'm gassing too much, just like this beer. Um, so I rating for Beaver Towns, Yuzilla Phantom, Yuzu and Dried Lime Infused Berlin of Ice Beer. Um, I think that's really nice. I'm going to give that an 8.5 out of 10. Um, I'm not sure where that would be for someone who really does like this style of beer, if you know what I mean. Uh, my palate's kind of just about starting to change for these. If I'd have had that a, another, say, year ago, I probably wouldn't have given it an as high rating, but over time, I might have to try this again if it comes out again, um, and see if I like it any more. You know, but um, for someone who likes this, who's accustomed to this style, I don't know where rating-wise that would be. Um, but no, that's an eight and a half out of ten from me. So if you've had it before, um, put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe and cheers.